Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Now let's take a closer look at opening, saving, and closing notebooks. By default, OneNote will open the notebooks you were working on when you last closed the program. Of course, you can open a notebook that isn't already opened as well. To do so, click the File tab in the ribbon, then select the Open command on the left in Backstage View. If the notebook is stored in the cloud, then you can click the Sign In or Log In link or button to the right to log into your Microsoft account and open it from SkyDrive. We'll take a look at SkyDrive a little bit later. Let's scroll down. If the notebook is stored on your computer, then you should instead select Computer under Open from Other Locations here on the left, and then click or tap the Browse button on the right-hand side at the bottom. In the Open Notebook dialog box, navigate to the location of the desired notebook. It should be stored in the Documents or My Documents folder on your local machine, but again this could vary depending on your organization's setup and installation. Each notebook is represented by a folder within the OneNote Notebooks folder. You'll see we're in the OneNote Notebooks folder itself, and then this folder represents our personal notebook that we're going to open. So within the OneNote Notebooks folder, double-click on the desired notebook folder. Then you can double-click on Open Notebook, or you can click once to select it and click the Open button at the bottom right-hand corner of the dialog box. But I do want to show you something else first. As you create sections within a notebook, those sections will be represented in the dialog box as a file with a .one extension. If you double-click on one of these sections to open the notebook, OneNote will open the notebook and display the section you chose. Let's go ahead and take a look at this. Now, first thing we're going to have to do is change the types of files that we're viewing here. You'll see we only have our OneNote notebook represented by that single icon. We're going to use the drop-down that appears just above the Open and Cancel buttons in the lower right-hand corner of the dialog box. Give that a click and you'll see our different choices. Right now it's defaulting to the OneNote table of contents, which is why we only see one icon for that notebook. But if I, for example, select OneNote Files, then we see our sections as well. So I could click on General and then click Open. It will open that notebook and take us right to the General section of that particular notebook. But let's go back. Let's take a look at some other options. Click File again, click Open, and we'll scroll down. Now I want you to note the area under Recent Notebook right here. Give that a click. If the notebook you wish to open appears in this area, you can just give it a click to open it. And this works in the same way as our other applications with files that you may have recently opened. So you can make that selection instead of navigating through your computer each time if it appears over here to quickly open it. Let's go ahead and exit Backstage View and talk about how we save and close our notebooks. Working with files in OneNote is different from working with more traditional Microsoft files, such as a Word document or an Excel spreadsheet. The first thing to understand is that OneNote automatically saves changes as you make them to your notebooks. So there's no need to constantly save your pages as you work on them, since that's already being done for you by the program. Now since OneNote is constantly saving your work, you can close the program at any time by clicking the X in the upper right hand corner of the application, which also automatically closes the notebooks, of course. And that's located right up there. You could give that a click to close it if you like. However, there may be times when you want to actually close a notebook without closing the entire program. You can close a notebook by right-clicking on the button of the notebook that appears in the notebook drop-down 
and then choosing close this notebook from the menu that appears. So we can go to the drop down, we can right click on our notebook, and then we'll see the command at the bottom, close this notebook. And you can give that a click and it will close the notebook. Now you can also close a notebook by using Backstage View. So let's go ahead and go to Backstage View by clicking the File tab in the ribbon. And this time we need to open our notebook back up because we just closed it. So first I'm going to open it. I'm going to scroll down again. And I'm going to say this time Recent Notebook because there's our personal. So I'll give that a click and now it's open. Now to close it from Backstage View, click File again. And this time, we're going to look under Notebook Information to the right, and you'll see the various notebooks. Here's our personal notebook. To close it, click the Settings button here, and then simply click Close from that menu. Give that a click, and that will close the notebook as well. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.